I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. You're going to learn today how to turn a bad solder joint into a good one magically and instantly. This, this is a decent solder joint. It is smooth and round and shiny. This is an oh, this is a pretty good solder joint, honestly. It's a nice, smooth ball. It is uh, not any extra wire sticking out here. This solder joint has a little problem. Like, you can kind of see it's got this little bit of... It's just, it's not smooth, round, shiny. It's a little bit dull gray as well. Here is how you can fix it. Ta-da! With this. This is a flux pen. Flux is the stuff that makes your solder joints good. Flux is in the solder if you use rosin coarse solder, but not very much, and it's easy to burn it all off. When you're soldering and you see those fumes coming up, what is it? That's not, that's not lead burning. That's the, the flux burning out of your solder. And when the flux is gone, your joint becomes crap. So, what I'm going to do, now this is a flux pen, I'm just going to apply a little flux here, uh, that was probably way more flux than I really needed. You can also get it in, um, uh, with syringes where you kind of dab it on, and a paste, although the paste I find to be kind of messy. And then, watch this. Just a little bit of heat to reflow that joint with the flux this time, and look how beautiful that joint is. Just smooth, shiny, much, much better than before. A damn good looking joint. Now I have said in the past that I don't always like to use flux. Um, I often don't bother using flux because as I said, there is flux in your solder. But if you're having trouble getting a good joint, it may be that you've burned all that flux out and as you can see, a little bit of flux from a pen, your joint is just instantly perfect. So that, if you've already got decent soldering technique but you're still having problems, try getting yourself a flux pen. This is from SRA Solder Flux Pen, but really any kind of flux pen or syringe, or I personally don't like the paste, like I said, but the, that will help you do a good job. And you're gonna wanna get what they call no clean flux. There is a kind of flux that's acidic and if you use it, then you need to wash the board afterward with alcohol to clean the flux residue off. But this is no clean flux, which supposedly you don't need to clean up after it. And I typically don't because I'm lazy. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.